Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. It's Chuck here once again with another episode. We're probably on episode like 600 and something, and it's always a pleasure to bring them to you. The reason we started these videos was because we thought that there's a lot of information out there, but nobody's really interpreting it. So our job is to really show up and give you some stuff that, to think about that you may not know about some of these homes and give you a bit of an insider perspective. So if you are coming to town this weekend, you want to join us for a tour of Milton Homes. They're about two hours and we've got three or four slots and you could sign up just over there or you can go to miltontourofhomes.com and, uh, and you can sign up and it's a great way to get more familiar with the kinds of homes in your price range. So Cargill Path, 349.8, it's 1130 square feet and very attractive price. I mean, really, now there was a model that backed onto a park that with a finished basement that sold recently for, let's just say around this number, but I thought that they sold themselves a bit short. There's hardwood floors here. It looks like there's an upgraded countertop with an undermounted sink. And uh, that's a really nice option to have that little bit of a breakfast bar here because you don't have a ton of space for an eat-in. Uh, you've got your garage there, but that's your main floor. Just one big room plus the kitchen, three decent sized rooms upstairs, and you've got one shared ensuite between all three of the bedrooms and it's fully fenced. So overall, I'll tell you, I think this is a fantastic price for this home. Uh, competes very well with the one that we profiled yesterday, which was about, it's about a hundred square feet bigger for the same price and cabin on, is 381.9 and it looks like and the pictures to me are not that impressive but it looks like an upgraded Hillsview model with uh, with the kitchen island and, and normally there's a kitchen that sort of has a diagonal island here and uh, if it is the model I'm thinking of it's about 1500 square feet and uh, there's no hardwood inside but I'll tell you this is a good price for this home and even though I'm not that impressed with the photo gallery I think that this one is uh, is a really good deal and I hope people look at it and appreciate it for what it is looks like they're looking for a February 1st closing in 2013 uh, Scott Boulevard is 388 and so this is a three-story house and it's got a double garage in the back with a deck above no real backyard on this one and so that's your main floor it's right when you come in it's funny how they have a, the big TV and the little baby TV up here uh, it could be video games and watching some sports who knows and it looks like a Brynmont model to me, which is about 1750 square feet. They got those green apples out there and three bedrooms upstairs plus the two full baths. So that's basically your backyard. Uh, as far as I can tell, you cannot put a, uh, a hot tub up here because of the structure underneath. But what a lot of people do is they do some nice cedars right along here to, uh, to create a bit of privacy. And you could do a gazebo, you could really do a nice job out there. But if you're looking for kids to run around, um, not really many parks too close by to this house. But uh, 388, I think, is around the float range of where they're selling for these days. Waters is at 399. And it looks like you've got two car deep in the driveway, all brick. And some homes on, there's not many homes on Waters that are fully all brick. And uh, you've got pretty big rooms. This is one of the biggest homes that the uh, the builder built and pot lights and hardwood and uh, I guess they must have replaced all the appliances and f you can even see the tag still on the dishwasher and uh, yeah who knows I mean they might have just put some lipstick on the old girl maybe it was rented so be really careful when you look at uh, what this one has to offer. Take uh, take a magnifying glass and really take a good look at this one and make sure the work's done well. Uh, pot lights, hardwood, stainless steel. Usually when people are replacing all that stuff and putting it up for sale, it means it was usually worn in pretty well by the time uh, they did that. So Shepherd is 399, 1600 square feet plus a finished basement. I think it's a great deal. It's one of my favorite layouts. I've talked about that probably three or four times in the last month because there's been a few of these that have listed. Separate dining room, family room. You've got a nice kitchen with a little bit of a breakfast bar here. You can put a couple stools there and uh, nice color cabinets. I think this one is great. And, and the bedrooms upstairs are all nice size. And then you can see that uh, you've got the basement. That's a nice touch, by the way, there. They kind of built out a little window seat in the bathroom. 
which I guess is a great place to, uh, I don't know, sit down and brush your teeth or whatever. And, uh, and then the basement, nice size windows over here as well. Nice stuff. Shepherd, you really don't drive on Shepherd unless you live there. And so it's all good. Centennial Forest is in Drury Park, which is a very popular area for the more mature crowd that doesn't want to live in a condo. It can be a great alternative. It's a 37 by 91 foot lot and it's at 424.9. And we've talked about that earlier this week about how 425.000 puts you in two different price categories. And so at 424.9, you're only, you're kind of losing half your market more or less. Uh, and there's no photos here. It's got a finished basement. It's two bedrooms upstairs with two bathrooms, laundry plus living, dining room, kitchen, all the rest of it. So um, it, it's, you know, 7164 a month. There's an extra maintenance fee. Uh, but I would say in the, in the grand scheme of things, it, it is a great condo alternative. Wixon is 424 nine, 1500 square foot home with a finished basement. And think about the one we just profiled over on Shepherd that's about 100 square feet bigger. And, uh, and when you look inside, I would say they're both nice inside. But I mean, for 25000 more, uh, these guys just, I don't know if they're competitive. I sold in a better market. I sold the same model with a finished basement at 410. So that was maybe three or four months ago. So when you look at this one, I like what's inside here. The first impression with this home, that dining room, a lot of times people say the entrance feels really small, uh, but there's nice finishes. There is a finished basement here. They've upgraded the floors upstairs. And then you can see the backyard's been done, I think, really well. Uh, so a lot of care has been put into this one. But uh, February 25th is their date. I think they missed it a bit on the high side. McDonald is 44.9, and so there's no pictures loaded, but you can click the virtual tour and you can see what's going on. Looks like they've done some nice work. The kitchen's been renovated, the bathrooms, uh, the basement looks pretty good, and uh, and it's pretty private in the backyard. My concern would be, it, you can see 103 foot lot by 93. So the actual dimensions, if you take this on Google Maps, it's this home right here. And so the lot goes right across this way, and then it goes along here, and then it goes down, and it sort of goes around like this. So you don't really have a lot of green space. There might be a little bit there, uh, but that would be the tricky thing. So 44.9, have we seen homes in this area that look this good sell? Yeah, but I think generally it has a little bit more grass. So if you're all about the pool and you don't need a lot more, then you might be okay, but I think that most people would want a pool plus a bit of grass there. It is four bedrooms though, and it's four bedrooms all on the same level, which I think is gonna attract a certain crowd. So in the big picture, I think they're in a good spot. Duff Crescent 519, this is probably the pick of the day. I think it's a, it's a really sweet home. Uh, that's your main floor. You've got a dining room plus a family room, and then your kitchen is just off to the side. And it's relatively open concept. You go upstairs and you've got a family room just on the front of the house basically above the garage plus four bedrooms you can see you've got a tub sink here you've you've got some upgraded uh, backsplash it looks like top cabinet lights and possibly bottom cabinet lights as well um, yeah just well put together so there's your family room upstairs uh, that is a huge entertainment center and you can see the lights have been done and just the big thing here is you get a big pie-shaped lot and uh, at 519 for a four bedroom detached double garage on that piece of property, man, it is a good listing and Holmes Crescent is 5349 and so same kind of thing with this one, it's three bedrooms plus the family room upstairs. Basically your main floor is just this big room plus the kitchen. And the reason why it's done like this is because when you're on a 36 foot lot and the one on Duff is just sort of pied out, but it was it was engineered as a 36 foot lot. Your garage takes up 20 feet, got a couple feet on either side, uh, clearance you know, between you and your lot line. You don't really get into the home until you get past the garage on the floor plan. So the upstairs tends to be big enough. They can do a family room, but the main floor can sometimes be a little bit tighter. And no complaints on this one here, too. I just think, Duff, you're getting more for your money. But uh, this also looks like a good home. And uh, London is 657 188 it's been out for sale. It was a little bit higher before. And so it's about 2,600 square, 2, square feet. 
very impressive inside. I would say one of the best looking homes I can think of on the market right now. And we can see the waffle ceiling in the, uh, in the dining room and just lovely stuff. Okay, so separate living, separate dining and uh, all the light fixtures here. That's a big thing for a lot of these homes is putting a nice light fixture in a room could probably double your impression of how nice it is. Um, they're, they're probably a lot closer at this number than I've ever seen them. And fifth line is the last one. It's at 899. The house itself is 3,500 square feet. It's on 10 acres. And I don't recall the pictures, but just that alone, if the house is in decent shape and you can see granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, uh, you know, it looks pretty good to me. And it's a bungalow too. So you're talking all ground level stuff and uh, not tremendously far from town. So that's, uh, wait for the photos on that one. You can check the link below, below the video. And uh, we would love to see you here this weekend. And if not, have a great time. Hopefully the weather will be a little bit better. And uh, we wish all our friends down in, uh, in New York and New Jersey a speedy recovery from a uh, pretty big disaster. Okay, so have a great time. We'll see you next week.